hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video if it's your first video um returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back to another video guys um as the title suggests guys worst worst night in canada so far what do i mean <laughs> what am i talking about um do i no longer love canada or what's the case um honestly guys um i've been at the hospital all morning it's now 4 30 a.m i've been here since um 2 a.m um not son myself um malika woke up last night she wasn't feeling well she was vomiting on some stuff and we legit have no idea what's going on so i'm um, here in grand prairie there's recently a new hospital that was built um which should be an upgrade on the old one but um to be honest we're not sure if this is an upgrade because um we're only allowed one parent inside because of covid protocol so um i'm stuck outside in the car i'm stuck outside in the car um not knowing what's going on inside the last time i spoke to Nats was probably like 10 minutes ago or so and she registered and everything but she um hasn't been able to see a doctor as yet so um yeah we yeah we weren't really expecting this level of service from the new hospital um but again it's probably because everything is a transition right so maybe um the, the staff are not really fully um adapt as yet to the new hospital to the new environment and stuff like that which is causing the process to be much slower than it usually is because um we've been at the old hospital a few times and we've never had um a bad experience before so this is our first real bad experience as it relates to um service in general and um yeah we just weren't expecting it um i just wanted to just touch base with you guys to let you guys know that you know what that's happening right now so many persons have been reaching out to us um for help with their loes and you know just for guidance and um help um unfortunately we are not able to get you to get back to everybody in a timely manner that we usually do um we do apologize for that i know many of you guys um might feel a little bit neglected that's not the case guys it's just that um you know sometimes life sometimes life just show things your way and there's nothing you can do about it other than just ride it through it you understand um i don't know guys um my assessment of the situation where malika is concerned um i'm no doctor but i'm thinking it's just probably a bad case of indigestion um she's actually back to herself again um as soon as we reach to the hospital she's back to herself she's normal again she um stopped vomiting she and all of that she even had something to eat but at the end of the day i told her you know what we don't know what caused it so we are already at the hospital so let's just get it um just get it checked out to just make sure that everything is okay and um yeah just take it from there um this is one of the nights guys that being a parent is very difficult being a parent um is very hard um especially when you have a child who's autistic who doesn't um function in a way that a, that a non-autistic kid would like for example she wanted to vomit but she doesn't know how to how to bring it up and vomit so in so that was a struggle so we're there trying to teach her how to do it um so that was definitely um something that um that has been like it's just crazy um so tonight is definitely a difficult night it's been a hard night um definitely hope that today is a it's gonna be a better day than what the morning i started as um outside is not that bad guys which is good the the weather is cold yeah it's now minus two but it's not snowing and there's no freezing rain or anything like that so um in a in, in a nutshell it could be worse it definitely definitely could be worse guys um could be worse um again guys we're just so in spite of everything we're just so blessed um because even now we have um i'd call them family staying with us um 
Kevin and Chantal, aka Smiles. You guys would have seen them from previous videos. Um, we're just so happy that they're here with us. Um, seeing that, like in a case like this now, in terms of even an emergency, we have somebody who we can um, ask to give a hi. And Malia, of course, Malia is... <laughs> Malia is just um, attached to us. Um, it's, it's 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 good that we don't have to like root her out of the house in this cold in like 2 a.m. in the morning to bring our big sister to the hospital. But instead we have family who we can leave her with now. So that's something that we really and truly appreciate. Um, yeah, so we'll just look at it and we'll just be like, yo, we're just blessed. Um, we did not expect this level of service, to be honest. And um, we're trying our best not to get upset and just to cooperate as best as possible. Like, for example, um, Nazis there, um, not even fully dressed, because you know how it is, guys. When you get up um, early in the morning to go to the hospital, like, you don't have time to, like, um, get dressed properly. So that's it's not even wearing a shoe, she's wearing a slippers. Um, so, you know. So she probably needs some support and the whole COVID thing, you know, I'm not there to give her any support and stuff like that. I'm not even fully aware of taking what's taking what's going on inside and or anything like that guys. Um I'm just here just in the parking lot, just sitting down, waiting and not knowing what's happening. Um yeah. But in a nutshell guys, um I just wanted to let you guys know that um just be patient. If it is that you um, have asked for help with your LOE, if it is that you have asked for help, guidance, anything at all using our experience, um, promise you we will get to you. But yeah, it's just been um, a little bit difficult of late to, to reach to everybody in a timely manner. So I do apologize for that, guys. So what I do ask is that you guys just be, just, just continue to be patient and definitely, um, definitely just continue supporting right of course guys um i'm no immigration consultant neither is nuts right all the information that you get on our channel is 100 percent based on our personal experience right so um we have never worked with immigration before we have just gone through the process and you know what i think we have known and helped enough persons through the process to have a general idea of what the process is like um we we don't charge we can't charge because we're no immigration and consultant you understand um however we want to become immigration consultants so um please check out our GoFundMe. the link is in the description right down below guys um just check it out you just give some support um it's something that we're really passionate about helping helping you guys um realize your dream of coming to canada right but we can't do it without becoming certified um so yeah, any help will be greatly appreciated. You guys can definitely run into that and just give us some love and give us some support where that is concerned. As you guys know, school fee is not very, very cheap. Um, in terms of LOE guys, um, I, I try to help as much as possible. I, I think I've helped a lot of persons and most persons who have helped with their LOE has been successful. So that's definitely um, <clears throat> something that I can say yes, I have a high success rate in in terms of helping persons with their LOE, helping them identify what to write, what area to focus on, and just what to present um, with their visa applications. Um, again, using my experience and my personal, my personal experience and my knowledge, I try to help um, persons just to write a letter, right? Um, that does take a lot of time, guys. That does take a lot of time. So um, if it is that you guys really need that, that help writing your LOE, guys, please support the GoFundMe right don't just um don't just come and say oh it can't help me write my loe which i will and sometimes it takes days sometimes it takes weeks and then when you're finished the only thing you get is thank you so much bye then they got through with their visa and then you don't hear from them again support guys support the thing man you understand we could support each other um that's the thing there. you understand support us so we can support you guys um, because we do have lives too we do have um, responsibilities and the the time that i am hope um going through reading writing helping persons with their loe i could be doing that i could spend in that time doing something else as you guys know i'm i'm, 
I am employed full time. I'm employed full time. I'm a banker, which you guys know probably. I don't. I don't know if you guys don't know. I work in a bank here in Canada, and I've I've um I've a very demanding role. So my job is very demanding. I see persons calling me in the middle of the day, guys. What do you want me to say? Do you want me to, like have a full on conversation with you in the middle of the day? I I cannot understand. I'm employed full time, guys, and my my job is extremely demanding and just 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 be understanding You're, you get what i'm saying just be understanding to the point that um yeah we want to help guys um we want to help you guys using our experience we want to be able to answer all your questions in a timely manner in a you know in a friendly manner but it's not always possible so when for example you send us a loe and you don't get a response immediately don't throw a tantrum don't throw a fit and don't just like pretend as if like we're obligated uh, because we're not yeah right? you understand and the bottom line is some persons um make it seem like um we're obligated to help we're not guys we're doing it because um you know what we feel like we're blessed with an opportunity to to, to transform our lives um by moving to canada um and we want to share all we know with as much persons as possible um not from an obligatory obligatory um as it's pronounced in canada not from that point not from an obligatory um way of, of looking at it but from like almost like just a charity way of looking at it right this is a, our way of giving back this is our way of of of, of paying it forward right but when when people like attack us like personally like we have had persons who be like send us an loe today hey can you look this over we we didn't get a chance to look it over as yet and they're like they send some very rude messages and stuff like we do encounter that as well guys and you know what it's very demotivating guys and it, it puts us in a position sometimes to not want to help but um you know what? we continue and we continue to push through and we definitely um you know, I feel like we've been doing a good job because we've helped a lot of persons um, along the, their journey. Um, the success of their journey is not only dependent on us or, or our help, because certainly they did a lot as well. Um, but we have definitely contributed a lot to many, many persons' um, journey. And you know what? We are just truly satisfied that we have um, with ourselves that we have decided to start this journey that we have decided that you know what um to give back in this way so um yeah we really appreciate you guys we really love you guys and as i said guys i'm just here chilling i'm just here waiting not not knowing what's taking place inside as yet um because um some areas of the hospital have like a no phone policy so we're just um chilling hanging out and i'm just waiting you understand guys um support us man um check out the gofundme again subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already guys and you know what share the channel um get us some subscribers um in whatever way you can um just support just provide some encouragement just drop a comment let us know that you're here just you know um support looks different for everybody right not everybody's gonna be able to contribute to our gofundme but Everybody is able to subscribe, everybody is able to share, everybody is able to leave a comment. Whatever the case is, no matter how small it may be, just support us. Um, let us know that, you know what, you guys value um, the content that we do. You guys find substance in, 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 in our effort, right? Um, because sometimes we wonder, sometimes sometimes it's very demotivating, guys. Um, especially when um, persons send us negative feedback. Which we accept, by the way, because once you are in a public sphere, you are, you open yourself to not only criticism but also to 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 bullyism and also to um, all the other negative aspects of the internet. So we are fully aware of that. Um, so let the let the positive outweigh the negative is what I'm trying to say, right? Let the let the positive outweigh the negative. Um, as you guys know. Um, we try to be positive in all things we do. We try to share positivity with all of our viewers, with all of our subscribers. Everyone who have came across us, whether virtually or physically, will say the same thing. We are extremely positive people. We we just try to send positive vibrations 
every single time we get a chance and we don't entertain any form of negativity and you know what we are very blessed again we're very blessed with opportunities that many of you guys watching this right now would really love to have and will have in the future if you continue to push if you continue to persevere but sometimes guys life does get tough on us as well because as you guys know we have a four-year-old who's artistic guys and and even though we make it seem like it's okay sometimes it's not okay sometimes it's very difficult um sometimes it's very hard and it's just us like there's not any support in terms of like friends or family or anything like that we pretty much we pretty much like ride our own we do our own thing like things that um many of you guys have children things that you take for granted like nasa and i would just like <laughs> nasa and i would just love if 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 we get if we hear malika say mommy or daddy and never say anything else um you get what i mean things that you take for granted just 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 appreciate what you have because like there are families who are like really struggling and open and are just praying that their kid that their children are able to to do the very same things that your your kids are doing that you are taking for granted so just um just appreciate what you have just appreciate what you have and just definitely know that um there are other persons out there who the smallest of things guys the smallest of things you you that you take for granted just don't take it for granted because i'm telling you guys that it's very tough it's very tough like we have a non-verbal um artistic four-year-old um doesn't eat doesn't not independent come on guys right just don't take it for granted right um of course i can go on and on and on and on and on but i just decided i will like this is just a little quick update that you guys know what's happening with our lives right now that's where we are at i'm currently at the hospital guys that's where I'm at right now. Um, Naps is inside with Malika. Malia is home with, um, with Smiles and Tal. Um, yeah, so if you guys reach out and don't get a reply, just you know, just be patient, guys. It's coming. I um, appreciate you guys, and I love you guys. Take care. Um, as I said, appreciate what you have. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share the channel. Check out our goal for me. Support us in, in whatever way you can. And have a fantastic day, guys. See you guys in the next video.